Journalists and other media practitioners across the three Quara state-owned media houses, Herald Newspaper, Radio Quara, and Quara State Television, have embarked on a two-day warning strike to press home their age-long demand bordering on better working environment, unpaid allowances, and the need to be recognized and treated as essential workers. The angry workers who were led by the chairman, Niger Union of Journalists, Suleiman Gobir, and his counterpart, Abdul Hamid Alaye, in the early hours of Tuesday, barricaded the major entrance into the media houses, insisting they could no longer bear the hardship in line of their duties, calling on the state governor, Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak, to address the issues raised. We are on number two on the list of essential workers in Nigeria. After security agencies, it is the journalists and media workers, we are talking to the government to, that they should try and pay up the normal percentage in all the grade level of our, our weighing allowance. The government refused to attend to this. Vehicles have been granted. Some of the offices, there is no furniture. It's been trying in certain areas. But what we are saying affects us as professionals. Because when you are happy doing what you are doing, you have what we call job satisfaction. When you are doing something and then you are not happy about it, the environment is not conducive, the facilities we have have, have become obsolete. Actually, we have a um, series of agitation which are genuine, like uh, the issue of our weighing allowance, which has been long overdue. It had been paid by the current state government. The, the, the condition of our working equipment, the working environment is not conducive, it's not palliative at all. Reacting to the development, the general manager of the Radio Quara, Kayo De Aremu, maintained that the request of the workers is already receiving the needed attention despite being budgetary issues. And as I speak to you, some of their demands are being addressed. They've had a series of meetings with government officials. Some of these things are budgetary issues. They've been put in the budget, which is going to be signed into law very soon. And all these things will have been cleared. For now, normal activities in the affected media organizations have been crumbled due to the industrial action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.